Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday. It's time for our 20-minute Facebook Live workout coming to you from my living room. So I switched everything up, and so I'm no longer pointing towards the fireplace. If you were used to seeing that view, I decided I would change angles and push my couch back out of the way and try something a little different. Sometimes you need a little change of scenery to shake things up. So it's just like having a new workout outfit makes you feel good about your workout. Sometimes just changing your surroundings can make it feel different, make it feel good, give you a little different scene. Just gonna check my device and make sure we are streaming live and that we are ready to go. Wanna be able to see if y'all have any comments. Alrighty, we are live. We're gonna start here in about a minute. We're gonna kick up the intensity a little bit, but I'm still gonna show you the low impact options, but if you wanna take this to a higher impact, that is up to you. So we've got, today it's gonna be eight different exercises. We'll do those 30 seconds each. We'll rest for a minute and then we'll repeat. We're gonna do three rounds total. I think we're gonna get your heart rate up. We're gonna get you sweating this morning at home. So give me a little shout out. Let me know if you're ready to go. I have a feeling I might be starting too early. Are we all ready? We're gonna start in about 10 seconds. Then we're gonna start, we're gonna do a half jack or if you wanna take it to a full jack, you can. But if you wanna stay low impact, we're just gonna do low jacks or half jacks here. So this is your half jack, keeping it low impact. But if you wanna go up and take your intensity up just a little, you can do regular jumping jacks. This is your low option. Just getting that whole body moving. Doing half jacks or do your full jack. Got a combination of legs and core today. Little bit of arms in there and then just march it out we've got 12 seconds in between each exercise and we'll just always go back to that march in place so at any time you feel like it's too much just go back to your march we're going to do a squat so feet wide i want you to squat down we're going to reverse lunge so step back and lunge go back to your squat other side step back and lunge so squat lunge squat Lunge and that squat, make sure you keep your chest up high. You wanna push back into your hips. Sit down into it like you're sitting in an imaginary chair. You wanna keep your chest up, bending from the hips down. We're gonna go down to the floor next. So we're gonna start in high plank. We're gonna go down to low, back up to high. So just from your map, going in a high plank position, you'll go down to your elbows and then come back up to the top. Go back down, and then come back up. And then I'm just switching my lead arm as I go down and up. So I'm on the right side, then I go down left, come up left, and then I'll go back down with my right side. Just going down and up, almost there. And then turn over on your mat, just face up. We're gonna do some leg lowers. So we're gonna start all the way on your back, legs up, and I'm gonna just put my hands down by my glutes, just palms facing down. I want you to lower your legs as low as you can without lifting your back off the floor. You'll tuck your knees back in, come back to the top. And then if you wanna bring in and hold here for the isometric hold, you can do that as well. Try to keep your lower back down to the floor. Going down and up. Slowly lower down, keep your abs tight. Just grab from behind your legs, rock all the way up. Come up to standing. We're gonna get that heart rate up just a little. We're just gonna do some little shuffles from side to side. I'm just gonna take shuffle over to the side. I'm gonna reach down the middle and then shuffle, reach. So you got a little squat here on the end. Almost like a little deadlift. Reach down to the floor and then just shuffle back and forth. You got it. Go get that heart rate up just a little. Shuffle back and forth. Five more seconds. 
You're doing good. And rest. Next one, we're gonna target your legs. So we're gonna do a three-way lunge on each side, which just means we're gonna do all directions. Forward, side, reverse. The feet together, you'll step forward and lunge, step to the side, lunge, and then go behind. Same thing on the other side. Forward, side, and reverse. You got it. Forward, side, and reverse. Oh, switch legs. Make sure you're alternating sides. I tried to stay on the same side. And rest. Last two, we're on the floor, starting in plank position. We're gonna hold a high plank. Sorry, just turning some volume down over here. High plank, hold here. We're just gonna lift from side to side. So adding that leg lift in there, squeeze from your glutes, keep your abs pulled in tight. You wanna keep that straight line lifting through your legs. You're almost there. Keeping core tight, nice and strong. Stay on the floor. This is your number eight. We're going face up, feet flat to the ground. We're gonna plant your feet down and down. We're gonna come up an isometric from heel to heel. So reach and touch your heel of your foot, crunching on either side as you go. So keep that isometric hold in the middle, and then you're just crunching it from side to side. Make sure you're breathing here. Holding those abs in tight. Just take your time here. Reach, two, one, rest. Just go ahead and rest all the way up. Going back to a standing position. We've got about 60 seconds here. We're gonna do round two. So one, first part done, two more to go. Hi, Marie. Send me a little shout out, let me know you're here. I'd love to see who's online. Let me know how you're doing, how you like the first set. Get some water. Get ready for round two in about 30 seconds. I always like to tell people, have a, some water, maybe a sweat towel nearby. So this is round two. You're gonna start with half jack, or you can take it up to a full jumping jack and really bump up your intensity here. If you wanna stay low impact, we'll just do half jacks. So option is yours. So your half jack, we're coming out here. Ready, go, 30 seconds. So if you wanna be in your full jumping jack, go ahead and go for it. Here's your low impact. Take it where you want your workout to go. You're still getting a good workout if you stay low. It's all about moving the body. Put some energy behind it. Almost here. Three seconds. And rest. We've got that squat and lunge. I'm gonna go behind. So I'm just squatting one time. Lunge, squat, lunge on the other side. Starting in two, one. Start with your squat. Feet a little wide. Come behind. Lunge. Feet wide, squat. Remember to keep your chest up high. Sit back with those glutes. You always wanna keep your shoulders right over your hips so that you're not folding over into your lunge. Just wanna sit down in it. Make sure your legs are doing the work. Activate your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, and rest. Up and down plank. We're going to your mat. Starting from high plank, you'll go down to low, and then back to high. And then I'm just alternating my arms here so that I keep alternating the side that's pushing me off the floor. So I'm going right side here, I'll go back down right, and I'm gonna come up left. So left push, and then down left. Other side. You can go as slow as you need here. 
Take your time. Stay down, stay down. Face up. Your leg lowers are next. So just pull back on the floor. Lift your hips up, legs up. Hands down. Lower down. You're gonna tuck knees in. Come back to the top. Now if you need to, you can leave your head here on the floor. And I just want you to make sure that your back is not curling up here and arching too much. So you just want to go as low as you can without arching your back. Pull in. And then if you want, you can take and pull in that isometric hold here. Just take your time slow. Your legs to the bottom. And then rock all the way up to standing. Got side shuffles coming up next. Getting that heart rate back up. Just shuffle side to side and reach down in the center on each side. So when you get to the end, reach down. And if you want, you can add those arms and really get your heart rate up. And the more you can add your whole body to a movement, the more you'll get that heart rate up, the more calories you'll expend in your workout. So keep going, five seconds. And rest. Three-way lunges. Make sure we do both legs. Forward, side, reversed. Going right and left. Starting right side. So go forward, side, reverse. Other side, make sure you're switching legs. Left side, side lunge, reverse lunge. Right side, you got it, halfway there. Left, 10 seconds, reversed. Right side, finish it out. And then we got plank, leg lift. So high plank position, hold that straight line, alternate your leg lift. Make sure your hands are right under your shoulders, body's in a straight line, alternate that lift. Squeeze your glutes as you lift that leg up, keeping your leg nice and straight, flex your foot, really activate it here. And that core pull tight as well. Working side to side. We're almost there. Two seconds. And rest. Turn it over. Stay down. Heel reaches are next. So back flat to your mat. Make sure you tuck your pelvis band. Back is flat. Come up for isometric. Reaching from heel to heel, keeping your abs pulled in tight, crunching on the right and left sides as you go. Pull your belly button down, make sure your abs are contracted, you're crunching on either side. That's three seconds. And rest. Go ahead and rock up, come to standing. Get your water, wipe off some sweat if you need to. 60 seconds here, 50 left. Get a little break. Grab some water, shake it out. We got eight exercises left. We're almost there. Doing that half jack or full jack to start. Going 30 seconds deep. We got about 30 seconds before we start. So walk it out, do some little taps here. Wipe off a little sweat. Make sure you're breathing. Right? We are starting in 10. We got half jacks coming up. Remember, you can always take this to your full jumping jack as well. Going in two, one, so low impact. You're just going here, add those arms, moving quickly here, or you can take it to your full jumping jack. 30 seconds, 20 seconds left. This is your low. You can always take it to a higher level. As you get stronger, build your endurance. 
never gets easier. We just find ways to make it harder. And rest. Just march it out. We're doing squat, lunge, squat, lunge. We're doing a reverse lunge on these. So feet wide. Feet wide. Squat your first. And then come back for your lunge. Again, keeping your chest up high. Make sure you're sitting down into those legs. Initiate from your hips. Make sure you're pushing back here. Not squatting with our knees. We want to push back with our hips. Sit down into that imaginary chair. Keeping that chest up high. Almost there. Three seconds. And rest. Up and down plank. Going high to low. And again, I'm just changing out my arms as I go, so I'll go down and up different sides. So hands right under your shoulders. Go down to elbow. And then back up. You can take your time with these. Go with your flow. If you need to hold a position for a few seconds, stay there. And then take it up. Bring your abs tight. Pushing off the floor. Stay here. Turn it over. We got leg lowers. The so legs all the way up. Back flat. Palms are down on the floor. You can have them slightly under your glutes if you like. You can come up here for isometric hold. Go down as low as you can without arching. And then come back in. Repeat from the top. Control on the way down. So control it. Feel your abs engage here. Nice and slow. Almost there. Two seconds. Rock it up. Rock it up. Side shuffle. Touch it to the floor. Going side to side. It can be small. Use your space. I switched around because I have a little bit more space going wide here for, for movement. But you can stay tight. Go two or three times. Reach down. Halfway there. You got it. Just wait to get that heart rate back up again. Three more seconds. And rest. Lunges three ways. Forward, side, reverse. Repeat on both sides. Starting in three, two, one. Anytime you need to, remember, go back to your march in place. And then try to join back in, right? Other side. Switch. Make sure you're going three different directions. Turn around full circle. Almost there. Less than 10. Switching sides. And rest. Two left. Two exercises left. Down to the floor. Plank, leg lift. Make sure your arms are right under your shoulders. Body's in a straight line. Lift with your glutes. My foot is flexed. Abs stay tight. Squeeze your glutes here. Keep them tight as well. Lift. Try to keep those hips down. Abs are pulled in for sure. Working through glutes here. I want you to squeeze them. Nice and strong. Two seconds. And rest. Last one. Face up. On the floor. Feet flat. Tuck your hips in so you get the small of your back flat to the floor. Come up for your isometric. Reach it right and left. Again, you could take your time here. Really feel that crunch on the sides as you go. Making sure your belly button is pulled down. Pulled in that isometric in the center. So your muscle is always under tension. We're just moving it side to side. Almost there. Keep going, two seconds. And rest, triple bell. 
if you're all done, stretch it all the way out. Stretch all the way through your center. Pull through nice and long here. Reaching above your head. You got it. And then we're just gonna take and bring your feet flat to the ground. We're just gonna take your knees and pull them just to the outside of your chest. Stretch out through your glutes. Again, take a nice, long, deep breath. Just holding here for a few seconds. Again, I'm just pulling to the outside of my chest so I can get down a little deeper and really feel that stretch through my glutes. And then relax it out. Grab behind your legs and then just take and rock yourself up to a seated position. Extend your legs out straight. Take a nice deep breath in and then exhale and reach out towards your toes. Feeling that stretch through the back of your legs, to the small of your back. Just resting your head in between your arms. Take some nice deep breaths here and relax into your stretch. And then relax it out. Soften those knees up. Bring your hands behind. Open up through your chest. I hope that you enjoyed your quick little 20 minute workout. So glad that y'all were able to join me today. It's gonna be a gorgeous day. Get out and do some walking. Get your steps in for the day. Cross the ankles. Take yourself to standing. Practice that move at home where you can go from sitting on the floor to standing without using your hands. Try it. It's worth it. Be able to get off the floor. So just feet a little wide here. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale out. Give me a shoulder roll back. So just shoulders back. One, two, three. Four, take it forward. Four, three, two, one. Now deep breath. I want you to bring it all in. And then we're gonna let it all go. So push all that air out. Let it all go. Give yourselves a big hand. Good job for joining me today and getting your quick little workout in. Repeat it more times if you need to. Find some other, we got other 20 minute videos on there. Put some together, make a full workout. Go out and get some miles, it's a beautiful day. Hope that you enjoy your um, your day, your afternoon, the rest of your week, and keep joining in. You never know, we might do another live. If you missed the live last week, we did some roll the dice workouts. It's still on the live on the live tab. Go check it out. We'll see you next time. Bye guys. Just a bad girl, but if you treat me